Hello guys, and yes, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, so yeah, this is obviously nothing to do with Doctor Who. So this will be one of my, what well, it probably will be my first non-Who related video. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to discuss my five hopes for this fantastic, phenomenal, thrilling film, which I really hope it's going to be. I have to say, by looking at the trailer, it looks amazing. I mean, I really cannot wait for this film. I mean, the more set pictures, the more posters and trailers I see of this, it's just, oh my god, I just, I can't wait. I mean, it is just going to be phenomenal. All I can say is that it will be good. I really hope it's going to be good. But yeah, let's get on to my five things that I hope for this film. Okay, one of the first things I want to talk about is the fight scenes. Um, yeah, obviously I want quite a lot of fight scenes because, you know, from what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like we're going to have pretty sick, badass fights with Batman and Superman. But what I really hope is, I really hope we don't have like a like a full on hour of punching and kicking because that's not good storytelling for me I actually want there to be a plot I want there to be a reason for Batman to be there and a reason for him to kick his ass because I don't want him to just be messing around just kicking and punching for the sake of you know just for the sake of nostalgia and and just for the fans because you know that's just fan bank, but, you know, so all I hope for is, please, can we just have a reason for these fight scenes, obviously, I want a lot of action, but not to an extent where they're just doing it for, like, 40 minutes, or perhaps even an hour. One of the things I noticed from the trailer, which I'm sure lots of Batman fans noticed, was the Robin costume that we got a glimpse of in the trailer with writing which could perhaps be it looks like it's either the joker or it yeah it is the joker because of the haha -ha. it's i think it says jokes on you but yeah what could this mean i mean could this possibly mean we could have a nightwing cameo I would love Nightwing to be in, you know, the Batman movies, because that would just be incredible. But I can't really tell what costume this is meant to be, because it ev it's either, I don't know, it kind of looks like Dick Grayson's, but I doubt it. It could be um, Tim Drake's, or even Jason Todd's. So I'm quite curious to find out what, costume this is but I would love Nightwing to come back or even Robin I mean if we had a scene with Robin in it I thought that or even the Joker having a small part in it would be brilliant but I've uh, again I very much doubt it because I think the film is going to be very highly based on Superman so I wouldn't want it to feel that the Batman side is kind of taken over but yeah Nightwing or or Robin would be brilliant. Now, here in in the first trailer, we had, you know, this sort of small glimpse of this Superman statue written false god. Now, I'm re I'm actually kind of curious on who wrote this. I mean, I doubt it it is the Joker because, you know, if the Joker was in this film, I think, you know, we would know about it by now. Or it could be just the general public graffiti on the statue. But I'm, what I'm hoping is, I hope this film is based on Superman. Because I don't want Batman to be getting all the credit. Because as much as I love Batman, because he's like one of my all-time favourite superheroes, I don't want him to be taking over the film. Because at the end of the day, this is a Superman sequel. And it should quite fairly be based on Superman but from what I've seen from the trailer 
we are seeing a lot of stuff about Superman, but we have seen quite a lot of Batman as well. But yeah, please, please, please focus on Superman. Now, this is something I really want to talk about, is this new Lex Luthor that we've got. Now, from the look of the trailer, it looks like he's going to be wearing wigs, which I'm a little bit confused about, because I swear there was a promotional picture where he was bald, unless, you know, unless in a later scene he's bald. But, yeah, I, what, I'm a little bit concerned, because, you know, he is quite a young Lex Luthor, which... I'm a little bit concerned about because I'm not going to lie in the trailer I wasn't that keen on the way he was playing it you know the red capes are coming the red capes are it was a bit childish and not really a sort of Lex Luthor thing so I'm a little bit concerned that it's not going to be true to the comics which I know I sound really sad about but obviously I'm quite attached to comic books and I think if they don't betray it from the comics then it's not going to work as much. So I really hope that Lex Luthor does kind of keep the same sort of characteristics and he isn't as loony and childish like he was in the trailer. I think, really, the last thing I can say is, you know, I just hope this film is a success. I mean, that's probably the fifth thing I'll go for, is I want this film to be a success. I don't want it to be a massive, trash, sort of, fan bank film that's like The Avengers, where it's just lots of comedy and kicking around, which, from the trailer, it doesn't look like it. But I really hope it's not one of those films where the trailer is better than the movie and it's like forced advertised. So I'm hoping it will be dark, action packed and I hope it works for both Batman and Superman um, fans. I hope and I really hope that these cameos as well that we're meant to be having have a meaning. I really hope they're not just all bumbled in. And I'm quite curious to know how Wonder Woman's fitting in as well. So, anyways, yeah. I want this film to be successful. Um, that's how I'm going to end this video. But, yeah, who, if you are a fan of Batman or Superman, then please do comment below. Because I'd love to talk to you guys and have a nice convo about stuff like that. Anyway, that's me out. So, au revoir.